everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I am here with my stash. Well, with some of my stash. With my stash that needs attention. So this here, I really need to pay some attention to, cake it up, sort it out and use it. Here I found all these cakes that I made a couple of years ago when I first got my yarn winder and I was cake making obsessed. So I also want to use up these cakes. And so for the challenge that I posted this month, hashtag crochet every day November, I have decided I am going to make a blanket of all this yarn and I have finally decided on the pattern and so I did get started a couple of days early because I just couldn't wait anymore. So I am going to show you in a moment the pattern that I have been working on and the tutorial for that and so let's hope and pray <laughs> that I can use up all this in that blanket. So apart from my leftover stash yarn, I'm going to be using some stitch markers, my three and a half hook, seeing that I'm using Starcraft Special DK, so a DK thickness. I am also going to be using my darning needle to sew in the ends and of course scissors to cut off the yarn. Now to get started on this blanket, we are going to start chaining. And the multiple in this blanket is 25 chains. So from stitch marker to stitch marker, this is a repeat and these are 25 chains. So the easiest way that I decided to start this blanket was just to chain 25, then put a stitch marker in and then chain again 25 and again and again. So I did that nine times. So let's get started. Do your slip knot, insert your hook and you're going to chain 25. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. There we are. And you place a stitch marker. And then you just start again doing another lot of 25 chains. So I did this nine times, giving me a chain of 225 chains. And of course, I had my stitch markers every 25th chain. Then once you've done that, you will add another stitch marker at the end, just so that it is easy to get started in a moment. And then we are going to add three chains. So one, two and three. These three chains are your turning chain. And indeed in this project, I am going to be chaining three for my turning chain because the chain is used slanted. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. So then we are going to skip five chains one two three four five into the sixth chain you're going to yarn over and in there you are going to do three double crochets so a double crochet is yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you're going to do three of those into the same chain there we go. OK. Then you're going to skip two and you're going to do three double crochets in the next chain. 
So this is what we call granny clusters. A granny cluster is made up of three double crochets in the same stitch. Then once again, you're going to skip two chains into the third one. We are doing a granny cluster. And same thing again, skip two into the third chain for another granny cluster. Now, in fact, this granny cluster here is part of our tip. So we have to come down now. We have to make a corner. So we are going to chain two. And then in the next chain, we are going to place a granny cluster. Now we go. Oh. There we go. So look, we've already got our shape. And then we are going to skip two and place a granny cluster in the third stitch. After that, you skip two again and you place another granny cluster in the third stitch. And then you do this again, skip two and another granny cluster in the third stitch. So as you can see, we have four granny clusters on our sides. Now we have to create a valley. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five chains into the sixth one. We are going to do a cluster. There we are. And look, we've created a valley. And then we are going to do the same thing again. So we skip two into the third for a granny cluster. And you make sure that you have four clusters in a row. One, two, three. And here is my fourth one. Then you chain two and then you start again in the next chain with your granny clusters. And once again, you're going to do four in a row. One, two and in the third. One, two, and in the third. And one more. One, two, and in the third. There we go. So if you now lay this down, Obviously, don't pull it, but look, it goes up and down, up and down. So while 225 stitches might seem a lot, your blanket is not going to be as wide as 225 stitches because of the up and down motion here. So doing a repeat of nine multiples gives me a blanket of about 105 centimeters wide. Once you have done your four clusters here, we are going to have to do the valley again. So that's 
skipping five stitches one two three four five into the sixth one you will start your sequence of your four clusters again So I've done my four clusters, then I do my two chains and then I start a sequence of four clusters again in the very next chain. And you work your way all the way to the end of the chain that you prepared for your width of blanket. Of course, I'm here only doing three repeats because obviously my blanket is here. So having done my clusters on my last bit of chain here, you will notice that there are two chains left and of course that's correct because here as well we have the chain with the stitch marker in and then another free one so we have the same end so now what we are going to do is we're going to place a double crochet in the last chain and of course typically it has closed up for me so i am just going to try and see Whichever way I can get into it, there we go. There we are, okay. So you do a double crochet in the last stitch there. Now you chain three, one, two and three, you turn. And this time we are going to get started by placing our granny clusters in between the clusters of the previous row. And we start here. So we are not placing anything here, that's just for that chain. So straight away in between two clusters you place another cluster. And then you place your clusters on the side until of course you meet the chain space that we created earlier. So here we have the chain space and in this chain space you are going to place a cluster, two chains and a cluster. There we are, the two chains and another cluster. See? And so this way you can see that this side is going up like this and then here we have done our first tip. Now we are going towards the first valley. So let me just show you how to go about doing that. So you start doing your clusters in between the clusters of the previous row. And you have to make sure that you do four clusters each side. So here is where I'm going to be doing my fourth one. There we go, so I've done my four. And of course, four is enough. So I'm here at the valley but I don't need to do one here because I've done my four. So I'm just going to go over to the next location on the next side where I'm going to be starting my cluster. So basically you're skipping these two clusters here and straight away you're going in between the next lot. Let me just show you <laughs> always impossible to get hold of that stitch marker there we go okay so you've got your four clusters here 
we've skipped in the middle here in the valley and now we are starting on doing the granny clusters on our next side going up to the tip i am already in this chain space where i am doing a granny cluster two chains and a granny cluster already starting my next side so let me put it down for you there we go see so you've got four clusters on each side and also on the last and the first side so this is how you are going to continue your rows and while a straight granny cluster blanket is easy this one is easy as well and this one is enjoyable to do as well so every four clusters you either do a chain for a tip or just skip some here we go skipping some to already start the next lot of four So when you come to the end of your row, you do your last cluster in between those clusters. And then here, you're just going to place a double crochet. And to be honest, I've just been placing them around. You should be going into the stitch like I did here, but sometimes you just can't get into it so that's what i've been doing so then you chain three you turn and you get started again straight away by doing a cluster in between the clusters and this is how your blanket will grow so as you can see, I've been making lots of cakes and I simply join the colours with a knot and I will be sewing them in later on, each into their own colour. So I have been very industrious already and I have done quite a few rows already. So this is the blanket that I'm going to be working on for the crochet challenge that I started for the month of November. So hashtag crochet every day November is a challenge that I am posting lots of updates on on my Instagram. And so some of you might have already seen this blanket has grown in the meantime. But of course, when I filmed this tutorial this was where I was at. So I'm really enjoying making this. It's a mindless project. It's a bed project. It's something that I can do every day, basically. So I'm going to have lots of fun trying to sort this mess of a stash out. And I hope to see all your updates on the challenge. So don't forget to post all your updates with the hashtag crochet every day November. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!